Hello and welcome to the most vast stadium in Andalusia, the Estadio Benito Villamarín here in Seville. My name is Derek Ray, excited to be bringing you match commentary. And alongside me, my broadcasting partner, Stuart Robson. And we're focusing on, technically speaking, one of the best leagues in the world. I'm talking, of course, about La Liga. It's Real Betis, and they take on Almeria. Well, Derek, we can talk about coaches and their methods, but it's now down to the players. Which ones are going to stand out? Who will affect the game? And who will have the greater desire? It should be a cracking game, though. And here's the starting 11 for Real Betis. Rui da Silva begins between the posts. Canales plays with Juanmi on the flanks. And the central striker is Borja Iglesias. Showing patience as well as persistence in the build-up. Fekir. And up for grabs off the keeper. Well, nothing untoward happened. Well, what a chance that was to take the lead. But you have to give the goalkeeper credit. What a brilliant save that was. Well, maybe a chance for them now to alleviate the pressure. Well, a classic example of how to intercept. Well, the man we're focusing on, I think, falls in the natural talent category, Nabil Fekir. What might he produce in this game, Stuart? Well, Derek, he's the perfect finisher. He's got a great shot on him. His movement is excellent. And in 1v1 situations, you always expect him to score. They're certainly allowing their opponents to come on to them. Still pushing for that goal that would see them forge ahead. Well read to put an end to that attack. Costa. Opportunity in the wide area. Eguaras. Well, that's how to keep the opposition at bay. William Carvalho. And now with Moreno. Can they trouble the opposition this time? And the ruling is offside here. Robertone, nicely timed tackle, and they need to get tighter, options in the middle, Fekir, able to get a body in the way, losing possession a bit easily, Rodrigo Eli. Sosa. Well, that's the kind of play you want from your defender. Well, as you can see, the hosts have had most of the ball, but unless they start passing it with more penetration, they'll struggle to win this game, which will be a major disappointment. Well, there it is, half-time, and that closes the book on the first half here at the Estadio Benito.